Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Sundin Jain from Maharishi Mercantation Medical College, Malana. Today I am going to be presenting a rare scenario of a neuroendocrine tumor in the gallbladder. Neuroendocrine tumors are one of the rarest tumors which accounts for only 0.2% and in them also 2% of the tumors are of gallbladder tumors which is usually an incidental findings. Hence to distinguish gallbladder tumors from neuroendocrine tumor of the gallbladder, it is important to correlate radiological imaging from histopathological and immunochemistry study. So today I am presenting a case of a 27 year old woman presented with upper abdominal pain since one month which was insidious in onset, non-progressive and with vomiting. There were no aggravating or relieving factors. The objectives of my case presentation are to determine the imaging features of gallbladder neuroendocrine tumor. Second, correlation of the radiological imaging features with histopath and immunochemistry. First of all, NCCT abdomen was done which showed a homogeneous isodense mass noted in the gallbladder which measured approximately 6.8 into 8.7 into 7.4 cm and we can see there are no calcification or necrotic areas present in it. After that, on contrast, in arterial phase, we show the, uh, we see that the mass shows homogeneous enhancement in the arterial phase, and there are multiple lymph nodes present in the preaortic, paraortic, peripancreatic region. In such sagittal images, also we can show there is homogeneous enhancement of the gallbladder mass. In coronal images, also there is homogeneous enhancement of the gallbladder mass. In venous phase, also we can see the mass shows homogeneous enhancement with lymph nodes in all the periportal, renal and paraiotic regions. Here we can see the fundus of the gallbladder which is diffusely thickened and irregular walls. However, there is mass which shows homo homogeneous enhancement. So, uh, we came to a diagnosis that it is a well-defined homogeneously enhancing mass in the gallbladder fossa and it was suggestive of malignant etiology. The possible differential diagnosis to be considered were adenocarcinoma and lymphoma. Therefore, USG guided biopsy and HP correlation were advised. On biopsy, on, uh, we could see atypical cells of intermediate size having round to oval shape with hyperchromatic nucleus and scanty cytoplasm and no evidence of lymphoid tissue was seen in the section. Hence, it was suggestive of poorly differentiated neuroendocrine tumor. In immunohistochemistry, it was the new plastic cells were stained with synaptophysin and CD56 and KI67 index was up to 90%. On uh, discussion, neuro, as we have discussed already, neuroendocrine tumors are rare entity that accounts for only 0.5% and in which gallbladder tumors account for only 2.1%. Neuroendocrine tumors are a derivative of multipotent stem cells slash neuroendocrine cells in the intestinal metaplasia, which occurs in chronic inflammation such as polylithiasis, and it commonly occurs in an age group of 27 to 75 years with a female preponderance. Most commonly, it is involved in gastrointestinal tract, that is, ileum, jejunum, and pancreas. Liver and gallbladder are rarely involved. It may also involve pulmonary system and thyroid. And the patient presents with vague symptoms like pain, abdomen, nausea in the early stages of tumor and with jaundice and weight loss in late stages. Histologically, it is graded into three low grade, intermediate and high grade on the basis of proliferative index of KI67. Therefore, it is very essential to uh, diagnose and differentiate gallbladder, other gallbladder tumors from the neuroendocrine tumors, uh, which can only be done on uh, correlating radiological imaging findings with a histopath and immunohistochemistry study. Multimodal therapy such as surgical resection, chemo and radiotherapy can increase the survival rate. However, the prognosis is not good for the neuroendocrine tumors. Uh, to summarize, this case study shows that the gallbladder neuroendocrine tumor is a very rare tumor. The clinicians should raise a suspicion uh, and consider, consider it as a differential diagnosis uh, for young patients who present with abdominal pain in middle-aged females especially and should relate their radiological findings with the histopath and immunochemistry study. Thank you.